Uh, Upper Thames River Conservation Authority has been measuring snow in some locations as far back as 1957. These measurements get taken every twice every month, and um, we take that data and we store it in a database, and it gives us the ability to look at various locations throughout the watershed and have an understanding of how much snow we have today in any given year as opposed to or compared to how that would have looked in terms of long-term averages so we know whether we should be whether we're looking like we've got a lot more snow or a lot less snow or just about average. Um, when we look at both the depth of the snow, the amount of water in the snow, and then through those two things we can look at the density of the snow and that gives us a sense of how close the snow is to melting. Okay, so today we're here in Rostock, Ontario. We're uh, doing uh, snow surveys. Uh, Rostock is one of our uh, one of eight uh, survey sites. Well, this year is very similar to last year. It's been very cold, as we all know. Um, it, the snow sort of pack started in early January, and we have not seen any melting whatsoever. The density of the snow has barely changed over the whole course of the month, January and February, and even into March now, and that's quite unusual. However, the amount of snow that we have is just a little bit no higher than what we would have seen in the long-term record. On the average, over the watershed, there's about just under 80 millimeters of water content. That's the most important variable for us as hydrologists, because that's the amount of, that tells us how much water is going to come down the river systems, and that we have to plan for with our our reservoir operations and whether to expect uh, se severe flooding or minor flooding or no flooding. 